where we are. Dow's up 170, is that right? No, 180. Nasdaq 150. S&P 33 points. Yeah, that's a, a rally. And in my opinion, this is based on big tech. Big tech is really rallying hard today. Lou Bassanis with us today. I see this is a big tech breakout that leads the whole market higher. What say you? I say that's not on my cheat sheet, the first question I had on there. Come on, you can't do that to <laughs> good me. Good one, good one, good one. No, look, I, I think you're exactly right. I mean, we, the, the big tech is making anyone that's bearish look like a fool again. And this, is, this has always led the market higher. Uh, you've had a few other guests talking about how, many, how big a concentration big tech has in the major indexes. It doesn't matter. Focus on the fundamentals. Microsoft last night coming out and showing that they had moderate growth on the top line and fantastic double-digit growth on the bottom line. And I said this last week when I was on, stock prices follow earnings. As they go up, so do stock prices. Uh, admittedly, I missed this move. If you remember last quarter, we were talking about Microsoft's uh, report, and I was looking for a pullback maybe to 200. We missed it. The, the stock's just gone on uh, into rally mode. Um, I still think there's room to run for Microsoft. If you look at the historical valuation ranges, it could go as high as $380 if we hit its peak uh, PE valuation. So a lot of room to run there. I'd say the one thing I'm wa waiting for is I'm looking for the laggards, Amazon and Alphabet to really pull, pull this rally and make it into a, a sustainable one. They are trading at really low valuations, and in the last year, they've pretty much been flat. Amazon's actually down about 20% over the last year. Uh, Alphabet's about flat. So if those two names keep this momentum going like they're doing today, um, look out. Call 911. But, All the bears are going to the hospital. But just to make sure I've got it, I understand that big tech lifts all boats. It, it does because, if, I mean, if you look, Apple and Microsoft alone, just because of their size, account for, I think the last stat is about 13% uh, of the weighting in the S&P 500. So if you see those two names rally strongly, uh, it's going to drag the indexes higher, too. Same thing with the NASDAQ. Okay. What do you think the market's going to open at tomorrow morning? <laughs> that wasn't on your cheat sheet, I know, and I was, I'm trying no, to surprise you. No, that's definitely you. not on my cheat sheet. Look, I'm not a day trader. I just follow the trajectory. I think it's going to be higher from here as long as Amazon reports strong results. I think that the possible risk is Amazon indicating last quarter, remember, they said we, uh, cloud growth was strong, but they had seen consumers shift their buying behaviors, particularly in Europe. If we see that transcend over to the United States, that dovetails with the reports from Walmart saying that they were seeing some cost cutting there, too. Uh, we've got this then divergence where big business is doing great, but the consumer uh, is really acting like they're in a recession. So I think that's the key thing to watch for for tomorrow. You handled these unscripted questions remarkably well, Lou. Uh, congratulations to you, lad. And I'm sure we'll see you again Thanks, real soon. Steve. Thank you very much. All right.